in 2003, 2004, if we had a, a new metastatic patient, we, we would basically sit them down, have a very solemn conversation, tell them that the median survival is approximately six to eight months. At some point, we started to say nine months, then we started to say a year. At this juncture, we don't really have that conversation anymore because patients who respond to these drugs, particularly um, particularly nivolumab or um, lambrolizumab, which is the other drug that we're going to be talking about, um, these responses may be extremely durable, and there's no way of predicting who's going to respond, or at least this jun at this juncture we don't have the tools to predict who's going to respond and how long they're going to respond for. But what we do know from the phase one trial of nivolumab, the median duration of response was 102 weeks, so almost two years. And we have patients who, who, who've been in response for quite a bit longer than that. We don't know yet if, the, if they're going to respond when we retreat them or how many are going to respond when they're retreated with the same drug. So it's very difficult to predict at this juncture how long people are going to live for. And this has just dramatically changed the landscape of what we do. We have a lot of metastatic melanoma patients work, working, exercising, living their lives. This wasn't the case years ago when all we had was the carbazine and interleukin-2.